Hello everyone and welcome to the second microcasting area of interest update for the Eastern Pacific. We have an interesting update today. May 26th, 2020 is the day of this update. It'll be the only update made today unless something crazy happens with this area of interest. Well, as I said yesterday, I thought there was a more likely than not chance this would form within the next seven days or so. And it looks like now that we are in the um, five-day territory of where this is more likely to form. 60% chance has now been given out by the National Hurricane Center for this to form within the next five days. Well, what's that mean? Well, that means that within the next 120 hours, this is more likely than not to form. Now, there are some solutions that say it's going to take about six days. And as I said yesterday, it would have been about seven days yesterday. Now it's about six days today. GFS and Euro are flip-flopping back and forth between what they think but normally, if one thinks one way, the other thinks the other way. So one of them is almost always thinking, we'll have a storm form, make landfall, and its remnants will reform and redevelop in the Atlantic. We have the other solution being that this just rams into Mexico and we call it a day, it's over. But um, Euro was the one with the Atlantic system yesterday, and GFS is the one with the Atlantic system today. GFS has been pretty consistent now for the last little while, though, that something would form in the Atlantic regarding this. But um, it's looking more and more likely that that could become the dominant wave there. Speaking of the Atlantic, we'll be having an update on the Atlantic area of interest that is out right now in about uh, an hour or two later from this update. So what's going on with sea surface temperatures? Well, here they are, very warm still, actually warmer. This, this tongue of water, this warm tongue of water remains and you can see there that, that bright, bright pink there, that brightest of the pinks you can see there, that's 32 degrees Celsius waters. So it's extremely warm. It's right along the Mexican coastline, and that could um, produce a very intense tropical cyclone of sorts. And with that, we have this train of convection along that warm tongue, and there's low shear there too. So this is supposed to consolidate at some point. You can see the convergence. Um, there around that five knot marker, that is going to be the spark for this invest that's likely to become a at least tropical storm, in my opinion, within the next week. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. You can follow us on Facebook at Microcasting Tropical, on Twitter at Microcasting TRO, and on Instagram. You can check us out over there as well. Just search Microcasting Tropical. You can also join our Discord server. The link to that will be in the description. And with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button down below. If you didn't like it, you know where that button is. And if you really like the content and you want to see more of it, then you can subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. All right, thanks again for watching. This is Microcasting Tropical, signing out.